What is SECO and who is it for? SECO is a fecal management system and containment device for hospital patients with little or no bowel control and liquid or semi-liquid faeces. It is suitable for adults only. What does a SECO kit consist of? SECO consists of a silicone catheter tube with a silicone inflation cuff, an irrigation port, a mounting plate for attaching the collection bag, a 45 milliliter syringe, three filter collection bags with 1.5 litre capacity containing a superabsorbent pad, an odour control apparatus, a clip, an attachment strap for hanging the lower end of the device from the hospital bed. How does it work? The catheter has a retention cuff which is inserted into the rectum through the anus by pleating off the end balloon into a rosebud to enable it to be placed inside the rectum with the help of water-based lubricating gel. At the other end of the catheter is a mounting plate for attaching the collection bag. The retention cuff is fully inserted into the anus and then inflated with a maximum 45 milliliter of room temperature water. Once inflated it will remain securely in position with minimal leakage. The catheter then takes the flow of waste away from the patient and into the collection bag containing a superabsorbent to solidify the waste. This is changed once its 1.5 litre capacity is reached. SECO can remain in place for up to 29 days. Two ports are attached to the catheter. The white inflation port is used to inflate the catheter with water. Proper inflation of the balloon once inside the rectum minimises the risk of leakage. The blue port is for flashing the rectum with plain warm room temperature water. If it becomes blocked with solids, once inserted into the rectum and inflated to the optimal volume, the balloon forms a seal to minimise leakage and divert and contain liquid feces. It minimises the risk of tissue necrosis. Before using SECO, ensure the instructions for use provided in the kit have been read and understood, especially the contraindications, warnings and precautions. How to use SECO Step by step. Step 1. Put on your gloves. Gather together SECO, a water-based lubrication gel, an incontinence pad and some room temperature water on a tray close to the patient's bed. Step 2. After approval, by a qualified physician to ensure the patient is not contraindicated for SECO, please carefully read the instructions for use. Thoroughly lubricate the patient's anus with the water-based gel. Step 3. Connect the lure lock of the empty syringe into the white port which has a small balloon depicted on it on the deflation inflation lumen on the side of the SECO device and carefully withdraw all the transport air from the retention cuff until it is fully deflated. Step 4. Fill the syringe with 45 milliliters of room temperature water only. Do not use hot water. Step 5. Attach the collection back to the seco catheter like so. Pull open the blue lid of the back and hook the hooks on the connector mounting plate into the two corresponding eyelets 
in the side of the back entrance at the top of the back. Then, starting at the top, snap the open back entrance, coupling onto the white connector at the top of the catheter mounting plate. Press down all around the connection between the two to make sure it is secure and fully connected. Recheck that the hooks are still securely in the eyelet and the connection is secure. Step 6. Attach the strap onto the lower bed frame at a position lower than the patient will be lying to ensure waste flows downwards with gravity. Make sure it is attached without twisting or kinking the catheter. Note the silicone tube at the joint to the mounting plate may be slowly and carefully rotated to remove any twists in the tube after the patient has finally been settled. Step 7. Put an incontinence pad underneath the patient and roll the patient onto the side with their knees towards their chest if possible. Step 8. Examine the rectum to ensure there is no blockage and that there are no feces at the entrance. Step 9. Lay the catheter back on the bed with the collection back at the foot of the bed. Make sure there are no kinks or twists in the catheter. Step 10. Attach the syringe with the 45 millilitres of room temperature water to the white inflation port. Step 11. Fold the retention cuff and tube between thumb and index finger and rosebud down to as small a diameter as possible. Step 12. Coat the cuff at the end of the catheter with water-based lubricating gel. Step 13. Insert the cuff into the anus until the cuff is inside the rectal vault. If it is far enough inside the patient, the black line on the catheter should just be visible outside the patient's body. Step 14. Inflate the cuff slowly with a syringe up to a maximum of 45 milliliter of water. Once inflated, hold the inflation port with one hand and gently unscrew the syringe. Step 15. Pull gently on the catheter to make sure the cuff is securely located inside the patient. Step 16. The patient can now be positioned on their back. Make sure the catheter is running in a straight line between their legs and is not twisted or bunched up. Step 17. Ensure the hanger and back hooks are securely fitted to the collection bag and bed lower down than the patient. Step 18. If the catheter becomes blocked due to solid matter, fill the syringe with room temperature tap water and attach the syringe to the blue port. Then, flush the catheter with the tap water by compressing the syringe. Step 19. Changing the bag. Detach the hooks from the eyelets and separate the coupling ring by lifting the tap slightly. Keep the back upright and replace the blue cap securely. Dispose of the full bag in an appropriate biohazard waste bin. The fecal matter will have solidified by reacting the superabsorbent in the bag, therefore eliminating the risk of a spillage. Therefore, the bag cannot and should not be emptied. Additionally, a syringe can be filled with water and using the port with cap on the side of the catheter, water can be flushed down the main catheter tube towards the collection bag. 
For infusion of medication, clamp the main tube after the white inflation blue flashing port. Fill the syringe with the medication and slowly infuse into the rectum. After time, remove the clamp to allow the medication and waste to flow down the tube to the collection bag. Maintenance The following checks need to be made several times per day. Check that the inflation cuff is correctly positioned against the rectal floor and cuff volume is correct. Check that the black line on the catheter tube is visible. Check that the catheter tube is flowing freely and is not kinked or obstructed by the patient's body or other medical equipment. Check that the collection bag does not need to be replaced. Check for leakage around the catheter. If evident, check items above. A small amount of leakage is to be anticipated. To avoid skin irritation, ensure an appropriate skin care routine to keep the area clean, dry and protected with a moisture barrier product. Removal of Seco Attach the syringe to the solid white inflation port and withdraw all the water from the cuff. Disconnect the syringe. Hold the catheter firmly close to the patient and gently slide out in a smooth, continuous motion. Dispose of the device in line with facility protocols for disposal of medical waste. What are the benefits of SECO and why should it be used? SECO was designed to help reduce the skin breakdown and spread of infection. Improves patient comfort. Helps prevent faecal contamination of wounds. Minimizes exposure to infectious waste material, for example, diarrhea, which may contain pathogens such as C. difficile. Helps prevent cross-contamination and pressure ulcers. Fecal management is a priority in intensive care to minimize the risk of infection. Helps to maintain good skin conditions. What other accessories do I need to fit a SECO device. You will also need gloves for insertion of SECO in the patient's anus, lubrication gel for easing insertion of a catheter into the anus, room temperature water for inflation of a balloon and an incontinence pad because of a small amount of seepage anticipated. What else do I need to know? It's for a single patient use and is disposable. It is provided with three collection bags with the 1.5 litre capacity. These need to be changed once the capacity is reached and are single use. Additional bags can be ordered separately. The device can be used for 29 consecutive days. Once the feces becomes solid, use should be discontinued. Always follow the detailed instructions provided in the box. Who is it manufactured by and how can I order SECO? SECO is manufactured in the UK by Process International, a manufacturer of innovative healthcare products. SECO can be ordered from your local distributor.